Halifax is a wet place. Sometimes it snows, sometimes it rains, sometimes it snow rains. Now that's a lot of water, and when that water hits the ground here, one of two things can happen. It can either get absorbed, or it can... Uh, When water hits a hard surface, it goes where gravity tells it to, and it goes there fast. So when rain hits a surface, like asphalt, we need to deal with it somehow, or else it ends up doing fun things, like flooding and erosion. Well, this much of Halifax is a hard surface. All the streets, all the roofs, all the parking lots, they don't absorb water. So any rain that falls on them has to go somewhere. That water is called stormwater runoff. Some stormwater drains into pipes that lead straight to the harbor. But most of the time, it gets added towards sewage pipes and ends up at a treatment plant, kind of like this one. So what's happening now, of course, is that uh, again in the older areas of Dartmouth and Halifax, we have combined sewers, and that's all coming to the Halifax wastewater treatment plant where we are here, or we'll be going over to the Dartmouth wastewater treatment plant and all being treated. There's a front end lift station here at the Halifax wastewater treatment facility that lifts that combined sewer up to a, uh, an enhanced primary treatment process here at the Halifax wastewater treatment facility. It's great that we clean our used water before it enters the harbor, but here's the thing, stormwater isn't sewage. It's much cleaner, and it's nowhere near as toxic. It doesn't need the same treatment as our sewage, but right now, it is getting treated the same. It's like washing all your clothes because you have one dirty pair of underwear. Here, the treatment plant doesn't differentiate between stormwater and, and sewer water. It's all coming into the system, it all has to be treated. It's all costly to deal with. The challenge is that it's blended with, uh, with, with sanitary waste at that time and you, you, you can't unseparate it. But the real kicker is that stormwater is unpredictable and if a particularly bad storm happens, it can bring enough water to overwhelm the treatment plant. If we have a measurable precipitation event, we will see the flows rise at this facility within 10 to 15 minutes after it starts and it can rise quite dramatically uh, on the order of uh, four times what we'd expect to see on an average dry weather day. Now this can get really expensive and someone needs to pay for all that. For example, Halifax Water recently introduced extra charges for property owners to help pay for the $13.5 million needed each year to upgrade our stormwater management infrastructure. And that's only expected to go up with aging pipes and climate change. One obvious solution is to separate the stormwater from our sewage. Newer developments in Halifax are starting to do this by having two separate pipes, one for stormwater and the other for sewage. Stormwater goes to the harbor, sewage goes to the treatment plant. Simple, right? Well, not really. Fixing the problem this way means fixing the entire network before we see any large improvements. Even if you separate out part of the pipe network, you'd still have water ending up back into a combined system. Oh, and you'd only have to dig up almost every street in Halifax in the process. I certainly can't see it happening in my, in my lifetime, but uh, you know, if we could separate all the sewers, that'd be great, but I just don't see that happening for the cost and disruption reasons. Right. We're in a bit of a pickle when it comes to dealing with stormwater in Halifax, but there are other ways to deal with it. Mm. When you think about it, stormwater, at the end of the day, it's really just water, and that stuff's useful. Now, for example, you can use it for yourself, hmm. or you can let it enter the ground and water plants as nature intended. So you'll see behind me that we have the rain garden here. And it's, a, it's positioned at the bottom of a hill, so we know water always moves downhill. This rain garden in particular was put in to capture some of the storm water that flows downhill off of a paved surface. So what you can't see with this rain garden is below the surface there's probably a meter, meter and a half of gravel. And so the whole point of the rain garden is to take that water that's flowing across the pavement and to get it down into the ground. And so if the rain garden wasn't there, it would just pick up speed and keep going. So this takes it and slows it down. When stormwater, rainwater hits those roofs, it reduces the runoff into the uh, combined sewer system in Halifax by a significant amount because it's held uh, in the roof assembly itself. It's just a big sponge there waiting for the rain event and it soaks up the water and retains it. And it may slowly uh, drain through or it will eventually evaporate or it's used by the plants themselves. So it's cutting back on our storm water that's going into our sewer system significantly. Other cities in North America have things like bioswales right along their streets to collect storm water. 
Instead of letting the water flow down the road and into pipes, these green streets slow down the water and let it water plants. And gosh, they look pretty beautiful too. So if we want to manage the full impact of stormwater on our collection systems, then we need to bring private property owners into the picture as well. You know, even if every second household, you know, diverted the water from their downspouts or... To put in trees, rain gardens, bioswales... Just connect your roof leaders and just charge it onto your lawn, that's, that's fantastic. You know, if you have rain barrels, no, every little bit helps. So these sorts of things are very doable for the homeowner, and so we want to promote that. Uh, through city projects that provide an example and uh, a learning opportunity for the public. Rain gardens, rain barrels, trees, I mean they're just drops in the bucket when it comes to dealing with stormwater here in Halifax. But if enough individuals, organizations and institutions get involved, those drops add up into a pretty viable solution. I really don't want to water down the importance of this, but managing stormwater in Halifax can be, and it should be a community effort. So I hope you get involved. We're Planifax, and I hope this video wasn't too dry. <laughs>